Hey guys, so I'm coming at you today with the first in a little series of Disney DIYs that we're going to be sharing on our channel. And these DIYs are kind of a way to repurpose Disney souvenirs. Now not just any Disney souvenir, but the free souvenirs. Um, Disney's a pretty expensive vacation to go on, but you can get a lot of little freebies along the way that just kind of add a little extra magic to your trip, or even some of them are just kind of functional for you during the trip. And then once you get back home, they go in the trash or in a little bin and it gets tucked up in your closet and never to be seen again for 50 years. Um, so I'm going to show you a way that you can actually put those things to use in like a fun little decorative way to showcase that you went on an awesome trip and to just keep those memories alive. So like I said, this is going to be the first video in a little series and today's video is going to be all about repurposing these bad boys. These are the Disney park maps. Now, if you are a veteran Disney goer, you probably don't always pick up a park map. Maybe you do though. Maybe you're like me and you pick it up so you can look back and see the way that the parks have changed because things are constantly changing at the Disney parks. I looked back through a bunch of old maps um, right before starting filming this video and it was insane to see that each park has had things added to it, things taken away from it, things just moved around or augmented a little bit and it's it's cool to see that progress is always happening at the Disney parks. Now I'm making sure to keep my park maps that are from specific events or special times within the park like Flower and Garden Festival, Holidays Around the World, the first time we went and did like a Star Wars weekend years ago. Um, we went to the opening of Pandora, we got to do an AP preview, and so we have like a little field guide, the original map, stuff like that. Um, so things like that I'm obviously keeping intact. I don't want to cut them up and throw glue all over them and make them into something else. I want to savor them um, because they are a perfect souvenir and heirloom as they are, but it's the maps that I realized I have three of and don't need three of the exact same map. So these are pretty much the ones that I'm gonna be changing. And so I have one from each park that I decided I could spare and then a few extra Magic Kingdom ones. Now, if you don't have Disney park maps at home, that's fine, you can still do this project. You can actually head over to the Disney website and print out park maps online, which is pretty cool. So you don't actually have to have been to Disney to do this little project. You could also do this project using the resort maps. So maybe you have a favorite resort that you wanna showcase. Kind of the world's your oyster or the Disney World is your oyster on this project. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump into the video and see what we're making. All right, guys, for this first project, you'll need, of course, your guide map. You can use whichever park you want. I'm choosing to use Magic Kingdom because it's my favorite. Pen or pencil, some scissors, magnets, decoupage, and a paintbrush, and lastly, some glass vase filler. Make sure you get the jumbo size of the vase filler and magnets that are small enough to be hidden behind the glass vase filler. So as you guys can see, I have my little park map here and I'm gonna start with making a magnet for each of the lands around the Magic Kingdom. Um, so I'm gonna take my little vase filler here and put it over what I'm wanting my image to be. So what I'm gonna do is take my pencil and just trace around really lightly here so I have kind of a rough idea of where I'm going to need to cut with the scissors. So to make sure that my table stays nice and safe from the Mod Podge, I am, went ahead and just put down, I have this cutting board that I basically just use for crafting. All right guys, so I narrowed down my little map pieces to my six favorites. And I, I figured that'd be a good little bit to start with. Um, I don't wanna go too crazy and make too many. So after I narrowed it down to my favorites, I just took my little glass piece and put it over top and then and then I cleaned up the edges to make sure no little bits of map were gonna be sticking out. All right, so I'm just gonna pop open my little decoupage here. It's not sealed, which is interesting, but I mean, I guess I'm not ingesting it or anything, so. All right, guys, so I'm ready to assemble. I have all three parts here, my little glass base filler my little piece of map that's cut out, and my magnet. And so what I'm gonna do is flip over the bead so that I have the smooth side, the nice and flat side, and I'm gonna take my paintbrush that's been dipped in my glue, 
I'm gonna paint a little on the back of our glass here. And then I'm gonna take my piece of map and I'm gonna put it face down. So the design that I'm wanting is on the flat side. Squeeze out any of the little air bubbles, any of the extra glue. And so I'm actually gonna use the table to my advantage. And I'm gonna set it down here and just push straight down. And that's gonna help me to squeeze out any little bits that don't need to be in there. And then on the back here, I'm going to just paint a nice little bit again, because that's gonna help seal that in. And then lastly, we're gonna take our magnet, pop it right here in the middle, and we'll set that off to the side to dry. And I'll show you what we have once all of them are nice and dry. I have the magnet on there now. Everything's in there. You can see it's still kind of white. The glue is going to dry more of a glossy clear. So for our next project, we'll need another park map, the decoupage and paintbrush, some scissors, and then either a wooden or a cardboard ornament of some kind. I found this cardboard heart that has a string already attached to it, and it was at my craft store for just a dollar. So I'm just gonna kind of move the heart around on the map to see what and how much of it I can include on a single side. Um, automatically, I'm thinking kind of Main Street USA is gonna be perfect um, because as we all know, Main Street USA is the heartbeat of America, the heartbeat of holiday, you know, Charlie song. Anyhow, um, so I am just gonna put this on here and take my pencil and just trace around what I'm wanting to include. All right, so it's very faint, you can't really see it, but my heart is on there. And I'm just gonna take some scissors and cut it out. So since the ornament isn't flat, it kind of has this depth and this edge to it. I know I'm not going to want to see just like a brown, boring edge. So what I actually did was cut up little bits of the map that I wasn't using. And I'm just going to kind of use them to wrap around and like cover the little pieces. So it's going to be, um, you know, just kind of a mismatched edge, but I think it's going to be really cool and really fun. And I'm considering doing, um, you know, the Main Street USA on this side and then the other side being like a collage of a bunch of different little lands and pieces. So we'll see what I end up with. All right, so I just covered the whole thing with little bits and pieces here, as you can see. Um, you could totally leave it like this, um, or you could put one big beautiful image on one side, which is what I'm gonna do so that the two sides are like really different. All right, so I'm gonna put another nice thick layer of the Maj Paj on here. And then take my heart that I cut out, put it on top exactly where I want it. This stuff does dry pretty quickly, but you can still, you still have a little time to like move things around if you don't set them down perfectly. Um, but yeah, then we're just gonna take another layer over top to just seal everything in and make sure you get the edges really well as well. And you can kind of take your fingers afterwards and smooth everything out. Guys, for this next project, we're going to need another park map, some Mod Podge and a paintbrush, scissors, and some sort of frame. I was able to find this frame for a dollar at the craft store, but you could use an old frame that you have lying around, um, really anything. I just liked the idea of this kind of fun shape and it was only a dollar. So we have a couple options when it comes to this project. As you can see, this frame fits really well on the map. So I could just take my pencil, trace around the edges, and then just use whatever ends up um, on the frame 
as my decoration. But I know if I was to do it this way, I would lose the whole middle portion with my photo. Um, and what is the Magic Kingdom without Cinderella's Castle and Main Street? So instead, I'm gonna kind of make it more PC and chunky and just kind of make my own Magic Kingdom around the edges of the frame. So I'm gonna cut up my map now and um, see kind of what we end up with, piece it together on the map, dry, make sure I like it, and then we'll go in with glue. For our next DIY, we'll need multiple park maps. I am choosing to use one from each of the four parks at Walt Disney World. You'll also need more of your decoupage and a paintbrush, a pen or pencil, scissors, and coasters. Alternatively to coasters, you could use ceramic tiles. You could also repurpose old coasters, but I was able to find these four coasters from the craft store for just a couple of bucks. So the one thing that's really hard about this project is just figuring out what exactly I want on my coaster. Because as you can see, Epcot is obviously a very large park and it kind of has the two sections to it. Um, but even, so I thought maybe I'll do World Showcase, but all of World Showcase won't fit on it. So I decided I had to go with Future World, which I mean, obviously makes sense to have Spaceship Earth, like the park icon on there. And so I think that'll be good. And I really love that little like compass and, um, you know, there's aspects here that I really like. So it's going to be good, but that would definitely be a benefit to finding the maps online and printing them out yourselves is you can make them whatever size you want. You can resize them and fit them everything you want on here. fun making this video you guys it was really cool to dig these maps out from just you know sitting in a box in my closet um, it was really fun to actually put them to use and make them into something really fun and functional and just cute so thank you again so much for watching I really appreciate it like I said before this is just the first video in kind of a series of different um, souvenir DIY type things um, so obviously today was repurposing old park maps we have another one for um, repurposing or using your um, free buttons, the celebration buttons. Um, I'm kind of pondering an idea for pressed pennies, but I don't really have a lot of them, so I'll see what I can do there. And then I have another one for re kind of putting to use all your vacation photos because we all take a million photos um, and often they just live in our phones or our computers. So. Um, and then I have a couple of other ones that aren't really flushed out ideas yet, so um, I don't want to share them just yet. But if you have any ideas for me, be sure to comment them below. Um, also let me know which one's your favorite, and if you do any of these, be sure to share photos on social media and tag me because I would love to see what you guys do. Um, I'm definitely not the best when it comes to crafts, but I just have fun with them and it's a blast just to kind of create something out of nothing. So again, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, feel free to share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe because there will be more videos just like this coming very soon. Thanks again!